Previously, we just got off of a seven day cruise and now we are gonna go explore Tampa and then also go glamping at the end of the day. So we're gonna go from cruise life to glamping life real fast. We just got off a seven day cruise and we are currently in Tampa Bay, Florida. I'm Gabby and this is my now husband, Joshua Laptop. And we are now trying to find a coffee shop to go figure out what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. Then we have an exciting Airbnb later on in the day. After we got some coffee in our systems and sat and tried to wake up a little bit, after our early wake up call, we ended up finding a taco place and it's called Sunrise Tacos. It honestly had some of the best tacos and we were so hungry at this point because we were so used to cruise food where they would feed us at every single stop and we really had to search for a place this time. We got some Mexican food, and now we just found a beach access at Sunrise Beach. It's near Treasure Island and St. Pete's Beach. I forget, babe, what was the place we went to called? Sun, sunshine Tacos. Sunshine Tacos. It was really good tacos. And guacamole, and we got um, plantain chips to go with the guacamole, so it was really good. Now we're gonna go get set up, go hang out at the beach for a few minutes. <laughs> Welcome to Enchanted Oaks Farm. This is where we will be staying for the next 24 hours. There's even a common area that has games, coffee, and animals, and even an outdoor movie setup. You can even choose to stay with the zebras, but we chose this triangle shape glamping setup for the night. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Welcome to our home for the night. <laughs> Welcome inside. <laughs> so we booked this Airbnb and they're actually called Enchanted Oaks, I'm pretty sure. And I didn't realize that it was almost like glamping. So we go from one extreme to another. Yesterday we were on a cruise ship and today we are in this Airbnb. So this is our little cabin. <laughs> and this is the great outdoors <laughs> on this side. This thing comes down into like a triangle, but we've propped it up because one, it's a little hot in here, and then two, it's very pretty outside. They have these, it, the whole thing's decorated very nicely. There's all these little details. There's mirrors everywhere. We have even a light above us at nighttime. We do have AC unit, but we have not turned it on and we have not tried it. And for our privacy, we have these fabulous curtains to close us in. So technically, what we're gonna be staying in tonight is a giant triangle with curtains to shut us in and an AC unit. I'm excited. I think this is a very fun like glamping experience and the farm is very beautiful. If you look out here, I can just go straight from the bed over here and we can just hang out. But honestly, it's a very, very, very cool experience just right off the bat. Babe, hey, what are your thoughts on the place? I like this place. We've explored the campground and there is a lot of stuff, including a zebra and animals over in a little pasture. <laughs> other cabins that are right next to the animals they have one cabin that's overlooking this lake area which is really pretty and they have like this perfectly placed canoe then there's multiple places where you can sit down read do whatever you want to they even have a little area that it looks like they play outdoor movies so they have a projector then they have seats and they even have like hanging seats and stuff they have board games places they have a coffee station and it looks like they have a little bit of some drinks in an area their bathrooms are pretty clean. They're like definitely camper bathrooms. And then they have showers that are at the complete other end of the bathrooms that we discovered they do have showers, which was nice. So far, so good. And then tonight, do we think we're gonna run to the store and Joshua Lee Levtov is gonna make us some food. We are back. We got utensils, plate, but we got a ton of stuff. And then look, one of the things we found, gluten-free cupcakes. 
And we got bug spray at the Winn-Dixie. And they have grills out, so Josh is making steak and stuff for us tonight. So we went and got all the things. We even got a little dish to put the potatoes in. And the most important thing we got is long-lasting bug spray because it's very buggy and there's holes around this entire place. So I'm gonna go around our little place and bug spray it down and then bug spray it ourselves down a little bit. Oh, we have a mosquito in here. Oh, Great. You got it. It's steak. I'm gonna be cooking up on the grill. I got a bunch of little potatoes in here with some butter. I'm gonna put some little bit of water in it. Boil it up. We got champagne, New York strip. I'll do a concoction. All day night. Okay, so bathroom for the bath. This is the only bathroom that they have, and it locks from the outside. So someone can walk you into the bathroom. But the bathroom itself is really nice. Josh has found his cat friend again. Wow. <laughs> The morning. The only thing that freaked us out is the thin latch doesn't shut. Our little latch thing, like the door doesn't lock at all. So anyone could just come up in the middle of the night and like open up. That was interesting. Woke up in the middle of the night once because we had just gotten off of a boat for multiple days. So I felt like the thing was rocking and it wasn't rocking. And we also, we fell asleep at what time? It was really early because I woke up. Josh thought it was the middle of the night, but it was 11 o'clock and I had to go to the bathroom and he told me to wake him up if I needed to go to the bathroom so that he'll walk me. <laughs> and so I woke him up. One, he wasn't going to wake up, but if that tells you anything that we were in that deep of sleep at 11 o'clock last night. It was really pretty last night though. They had like elf movie playing, there was kids running around having fun, people were grilling and stuff, but me and Josh were so exhausted that <laughs> we looked probably like walking zombies the whole night. But now we will be heading back to Jacksonville, but we're taking in the last moments of this place before we have to check out at 11. Bye. Bye. <laughs>